face should look like this now. <laughs> it's so cute. I could do this like whenever I have a ponytail and I just like to sway. It looks like a napkin. <laughs> cute. I love it. What the heck? Oh my god, this is adorable. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So for today's video, we are going to be trying hair products from INA Chair or insert name here. That's actually their name. I know it's really cute. I love it. Anyways, INH sells so many different hair products from ponytail extensions to regular hair extensions to heat tools to hair products, etc. You name it, they have it. And I'm so excited to be able to be working with them. So thank you, INH, for sending me these hair accessories. What I love about INH is their products look and feel like real human hair. They use Infinity Flex technology for the most realistic vegan hair extension. I love to change up my look, whether that's for a photo shoot, for just going out, etc. And I went through the phase of dyeing my hair, bleaching it, all of this, different colors, rainbow, you name it, I wanted to do it. And that definitely damages your hair. So we don't have to do it anymore. You can just go to insert name here. You find wigs, you can get ponytail extensions, etc. The list goes on and there is no more damaging your hair. <laughs> if you're interested in buying any of the INH products, you can go to inhhair.com and use discount code Kaylee15 for 15% off site-wide. All right, you guys. So we got three different looks from INH. We got a ponytail extension and then we got two wigs. I am like so excited. I think we're gonna start with the ponytail extension just because I feel like after you put wigs on, your hair's gonna be all messed up. And for the ponytail, we're gonna do like a slick back look. So I don't know, in my brain, it just makes more sense to start with the ponytail. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, like how it comes and how to put it on and all of that. So let's just start with this. All right guys, I am no pro at putting on like extensions or like ponytails, all that, but INH has like tips and tricks and videos on how to put their extensions on. So I did watch one of those videos, so let's see if it comes out good. Let's see if I like can follow directions properly. Um, okay, so it does come in this like really cute like uh, bag so you can store your ponytail in because if you don't store it properly, they will get tangled. Um, so it's really nice that they come in that and basically, what it comes with or what it is i got this like really cute i think it oh my gosh i got it stuck in the zipper hold on a second <laughs> the things i do i swear only i would get the hair stuck in the zipper as i first open it um anyways um this ponytail is the casey in dark brown i believe this was the 26 inch so it is long we're gonna look like ari um but it's really pretty it has like so it's like gonna be naturally it's gonna be naturally. It's a dark brown, so it's gonna match like my hair now. And it comes with like this little tie to wrap it around the pony so you don't see like the Velcro. Anyways, and also comes with bobby pins, which fell out of the bag. So here's the bobby pins. And then it also comes with a scrunchie. So I love using scrunchies that are like silky, like satin, because I feel like it's better for your hair than like ripping it out. But um, yeah, so it comes with that. And basically what you're gonna do I'm gonna take this ponytail out. I purposely left my hair to look a little bit like, it's like on the oilier side, oilier, oilier. <laughs> um, oilier side because I feel like to make a slick back ponytail, it's better to do it with like um, dirty hair. So what I have is just like a regular brush and then like this like thick, I don't know. I don't know what these brushes are called, but this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's kind of dirty, but that helps with like slicking back the ponytail. And then we have oil and then like some gel. So we're gonna do that right now. I have a mirror right there, so that's why I'm gonna be looking that way. So let's let's slick back this ponytail. I think you can do so many different looks with this. I've even seen on the website that people get like two ponytails and do pigtails with it, and they have like really long pigtails. I think it's really cute. But I'm thinking we're gonna do a high ponytail instead of like. A low ponytail because I want to live like my Ari vibes because if you guys don't know I'm obsessed with Ariana Grande so that's what we're going for <laughs> okay so what I like to do is just get kind of like a rough like ponytail going on first <clears throat> and like put it where like I want it to be and then what I do is I take the oil first. I'm just using like shea butter oil. I got it from Trader Joe's and it works really good. <laughs> um, but honestly, just any oil that you have. And then I just rub it and put it on my hair first to get it extra oily. Even though it's pretty oily right now. And I just put it all over. Okay. 
And you guys, this is what my ponytail looks like right now. It's like, it's growing. My hair is growing, but it grows slow. So like, we got a little baby ponytail going on. So let me like, give you like the side view. And then like, I'm gonna turn around and you guys can get the back. Right, she little. She cute though, but like she's small. She not giving like the extra vibe that we want, okay? Okay, so we use the oil. Now we're gonna use like this extra hold hair gel. Honestly, you could use whatever. I used to use um, hairspray, but I feel like the gel makes it more slick. So that's what we're gonna do now. Use the gel. <laughs> and this one doesn't like harden. I think it's because I got it in like a four instead of a five. Um, yeah, and then you want to get like the back of your pony too slicked up because you don't want like all the baby hair flying out. I don't know. I think it looks more neater when everything is slicked back. And then I take the brush. I don't even think this is like the proper way to do it, but <laughs> this is the only way I can figure out how to get a slicked pony. Okay, I need more gel. Literally, I just start with like a finger. I don't know if you can see that. Like the tip of my finger, that's how much gel I use because it goes a long way. You don't want to like over gel your hair. Then I feel like that's when it gets like super hard. Okay. Okay, then I take the pony out and I like brush it ag again. Let me see. And then that's when I take this like, I don't know, <laughs> this brush. I'll look up the name later. I like buy things just because I see other people use it, but I don't ever remember what they're actually called. Is that like a bad thing? Okay, so then I feel like that's pretty good. Honestly, it's really hard to get a slick ponytail. I don't know how people do it, but now that you're gonna start looking like an egghead is when you know that the pony is slicked back and tight. Honestly, I wouldn't do slick back ponytails every day though because that can cause like a receding hairline and we don't want that. And I'm actually gonna wrap it one more time because you want your ponytail to be extra tight so your extension doesn't like fall out. So that's, that's gonna be good enough. There might be a little bump in the middle, but you know what? It's good enough. Dang, I look like I got some Botox going on. <laughs> okay, so we have the pony, and there's a few different options you could do. You can either braid your ponytail, so it's just like super tight, and then you put the extension on, or you can like wrap it into like a really tight bun, or you can just leave it. I think I'm just gonna leave mine because it should be a perfect match. Um, and then like the hair will just like blend together. So, this ponytail has like, the little netting right here and then they have a clip right here so you're gonna stick this clip into your ponytail up here let's see toss the hair back <laughs> so you're gonna stick it in real good <laughs> and then you're gonna wrap the velcro around your ponytail Try to get it like as tight as you possibly can because like the tighter it is the more natural it looks and i feel like i struggle with this part because i'm like a perfectionist when it comes to like my ponytails but honestly you don't need to like try that hard <laughs> okay i have a tinsel stuck in this i don't know okay so then you're gonna take this little piece and wrap it. They already have it separated for you, which is nice. And then you wrap it around. Try to keep the pony hair separate from the hair that you're wrapping. And then see how I'm doing that. I hope I'm like, you guys can see that. Okay. And then just keep wrapping until the tail of this is behind your ponytail so like right now i am now gonna take i lost the bobby pins okay i lost the bobby pins but i just grabbed some like two more and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that like end piece of the tail and you secure it back there with the bobby pins i like to make 
a little X with them because I feel like it helps it stay more secure. And then, all right. Here's the pony, oh my goodness. It is so cute, it's definitely giving Ari vibes. What do you think? I love it, look at the tinsel, it's so pretty. <laughs> I literally have like no worries, I'm just like smiling at the camera, like looking at myself. Um, I don't know, I just really, I feel like long hair just like brings out like the baddie vibes. Like, you know what I mean? Like you just wanna be like, what? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> it's so cute, I could do this like, whenever I have a ponytail and I just like to sway. It's so cute. Let me show you guys like the different angles. So this one is like front, like dead on. And then you can bring it from the front. So cute. Okay. And you cannot even see like my natural hair. Like it blends so nicely. Look at that. You, where is it? I don't know. This is natural guys. Like seriously. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So here is it from like the side. Cute. Ah! <laughs> and then from the back, let's see. La, la, la. <laughs> and then, all right, and then from this side. Oh my god, it's so cute. I don't want to take it off now. Like, are you kidding? I, I. I need to make a look with this. Like, I'm gonna wear this out. Like, grocery store, I don't know. I don't go anywhere that often, but like, it's so cute, oh my goodness. Okay, let's try on the next one. Yo, are you serious? I'm taking the ponytail right now. The bobby pins are literally laying right there. This is why I need to wear my glasses. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna try on the wigs. We have two wigs, but before we put on the wigs, um, to get your like hair ready for it, <laughs> look at this, this is what happens when you slick back your ponytail. <laughs> um, you can either, if you don't know how to braid your hair, well first off, first off, you should brush um, your hair out, make sure there isn't any tangles, and try to make sure that like everything is nice and flat back, so that way when you put on the wig it's not all bumpy. And you can either um, do like one braid back or two braids here going all the way down. Um, if you don't know how to braid your own hair, then maybe you can do like um, the twist. I don't know what that style is called, but you basically like, take two hairs and twist it. So it kind of resembles a braid, but I'm going to quickly braid my hair and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, you guys. So now that I have it braided, obviously you can tell it's not perfect because it doesn't need to be because it's going to be covered with the wig. But anyways, I just did two French braids going down. Um, and then basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the bobby pins again and you're going to take the braids and you're going to put one going up this way so that way you can clip it down so you're not having anything dangling and it's just easier to like tuck into the wig. So you're going to wrap them like this. Let me see if I can show you what it'll look like. Um, I'll show you afterwards once I pin it. So basically, yeah, we're going to wrap. And my hair's kind of long now, so I might have to like wrap it twice. I'm going to need more bobby pins. But we'll see. So put that one down, and then here. I think just do it for each side to be fine. I can't get this. Whatever. Let me like, right there. Okay, it's it. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna take this one, unwrap it. Bobby pin is not bobbying. It's not bobbying. <laughs> what did I just say with that? Okay, let's try that again. So let me show you what that looks like in the back. I just took the two braids, crossed them, and wrapped them. So it's like as flat as it could possibly be, you know? Okay. I turned it back around. And so the first wig we're gonna try is the Raven, I believe it's 24 inch, and it's straight with um, bangs in black. It is so cute. So basically the wigs come in this kind of uh, reusable bag so you can store your wigs in it. And then it comes with like this for support when you're traveling and it's covered in like a hair cap, hair wig cap thingy. I don't know what you would call it, <laughs> this stuff. But before we get to the actual wig, they come with a wig cap. So let us put that on. It looks like a stocking. <laughs> oh wait, that's awesome. It comes with two. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so it comes with two wig caps. And <laughs> 
<laughs> we're just gonna put them on. I love this part. I always feel like look like a like a giant egghead. <laughs> All right. I just like to stretch it out a little bit. It's not that I'm like, do I have like a big head or something? I feel like these are always tight on me. <laughs> Wait, this one's kind of small, honestly. I don't know if this will fit. But you just kind of have to like put it on your, whoa. <laughs> you just put it on your forehead and then pull back. And then see, and then you can adjust from there. Obviously you don't want the wig cap all the way in to your eyebrows. Um, but since this isn't going to be like a permanent wig, like this is just to wear and then take off in the same day. So we're not going to like glue it down or anything like that. This is just like for funsies. <laughs> um, they're, so, so you should look like this now. <laughs> and then, oh, what is this? Oh, this just gives you some wig hacks and stuff like that. That's awesome. Yeah, they just give you like some tips, which you can also find on their website, but it's really nice that they give you a card with it with the wig. All right, so for the wig now, we're gonna unwrap her. She looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, so with wigs, yeah, I feel like you put it on and you're gonna have to do a bunch of adjusting, so it's not gonna look perfect, um, but we can brush this out a little bit. And when you wanna brush the hair, even the ponytail or the wig, you start from the bottom and then you work your way up, just like the hair you, like just how you would brush your actual hair. This looks so funny. Um, okay, so we just brush it out a little bit and be very gentle with it. All right. So what's really cool about their wigs is that they have clips going here on the sides. This is the front of the wig and I have two clips here and one clip on the back. And they do have this adjustable strap on the inside of the wig too so it can fit perfectly to your head, which you can adjust while you put it on or even not on if you guys know the size of your head <laughs> um but i think that i'm just gonna make it a little bit tighter just just barely because i feel like i've had a few wigs um that i've had to just slightly adjust to not the smallest setting but yeah so now we're gonna put it forward like how we put the wig cap on then we're gonna drag it back and then i'm gonna secure the clip on the back first so I can adjust the front and then putting on a wig is definitely a process and then we're going to clip the sides so they stay into place and I'm just hitting, putting the clips underneath the wig cap and securing it to my actual like head otherwise it won't connect to the wig cap because there's nothing for it to grab to and then adjustment time because obviously this is looking a little janky so we got to brush out the bangs. Oh my god, this would be so much fun to cosplay with. Like, okay, okay, let's see. I haven't had bangs since I was like four. This is fun. Oh my gosh. So I don't even know how to style wigs. I think I might have to put like a roller into this so it can like puff up like this. See what I mean? It's kind of like a little flat because it was in the packaging for so long. But I think if we just stick a little roller in for a little bit and then they will be back to being alive. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, here is the bangs. We can like, here's the bangs, here's the wig. Obviously here's the bangs. But what do we think? Oh my God, I feel like a totally different person. It's so fun, like what? And Halloween's just around the corner so like, dressing up for Halloween and like having like um, different wigs will be like perfect. I feel like I would style this one with like a hat or like a scarf. Let me go see if I have one, hold on. Okay, so this wig is giving me like edgy, like super edgy, maybe like skirt with um, like boots and like crop top kind of vibe or like, you know, streetwear. She is cute, I love it. I would definitely do my makeup like super dramatic with like lashes and like big like colorful lip or something, but Okay, so I grabbed like a beanie. I think the beanie would be cute. Oh, shut up, it's so cute. I love it, what the heck? Oh my God, this is adorable. Okay, just imagine the makeup and the fit, like come on. I mean, even it looks kind of cute like this, like very casual. It's my Ari beanie, it says thank you next. But anyways, this is so cute, oh my God, I love it. And then you can also, okay, this is probably gonna ruin what I just brushed out. Anyways, that's okay. And I also have like a bandana. Maybe you could wear it like, let's see. 
Uh oh, the hair is too silky soft for me to just put it on. My hair is all dry, it can just do it itself. <laughs> we'll have to untie this, hold on. Okay, so like maybe, would that be cute? That's kind of cute, but maybe we can do it this way. We'll take the bandana and put it like around under or underneath. Okay, this might be a little difficult though because then the wig's gonna like pop up a little bit. Hold on, let's see. I'm gonna need like hair in the front. So part it and then let's see. Oh, I think that looks cuter. Yes. Okay. We're getting somewhere. This is this is adorable. I don't know if bangs are for me, but it's a fun like different Oh shut up, it's so cute. What? Come on, you guys cannot tell me this doesn't look cute. Like, this is adorable. Oh my god. Anyways, it has, like, so much length, guys. Look at this. I mean, actually, it's not, like, obnoxiously long. Like, this looks like it could be natural hair. Like, I just dyed my hair. Like, are you kidding me? And I just, like, had a moment where I was like, bangs. We're doing bangs and we're dyeing it jet black. Like, ah, let me show you the back. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, side. And then I'll show you the back. See, look how smooth like the back looks. Like, it is so cute, I love it. I really love this bandana, actually, it's super cute. <laughs> okay, um, you could obviously do so many different looks, like even with a ponytail, you can braid the ponytail, you can, I guess like just keep it straight <laughs> you can do different braids in it whatever you want to do with the wigs as well you can do um different heat i think it's up to 320 degrees and you can style the hair but once you style it it's gonna stay that way so it'll never go back to its original state which would be kind of sucky because you know i feel like this wig is really cute straight but it would be cute with waves too but i am not going to do that because i like it straight Anyways, that's an option if you wanted to change up the look. After a while, you've had the wig and you're like, eh, over it. Like, I want a different style with it. You could always do that. You can wash the wigs and the ponytails. Be very gentle with it. Use sulfate-free shampoo. Everything's on the website, so if you have any questions about that, you can just always look on there. I think this would also be really cute if you did, like, space buns or if you did, like, braids. You could totally do anything with this. Ah, it's so cute. Oh, my God. Y'all. Yeah. I'm having the time of my life being like how many different personalities right here. <laughs> I feel like different looks like bring out different personality traits in me. Is that weird? Anyways, let's go to the last wig. All right, before we actually go to the next wig, I wanted to show you guys how to take off the wig and then like store it because putting on the wig is an important thing for the looks and then storing is also a really important thing to keep your wigs nice. You know, because these are expensive, so you want to keep them nice as long as possible. So, obviously, first of all, we got to take the bandana off. Which way did I tie this? Oh, here we go. Alright, so you're going to remember that you have a clip on the wig. So, you want to unclip those here. And then gently remove it. And then lightly brush it. Again, from the bottom, like the ends to the top and then just very gently brush like the top of it. This hair is super soft so it's like it's really hard for it to get tangles so yeah if you brush too hard I feel like you could definitely ruin like the wig and the hair will like start to fall out and what I like to do is I like to wrap the hair gently and then tuck this into the wig itself but they did like put a little bit of this in I think to hold its shape so I'm gonna put that back in. Usually wigs don't come without it's kind of nice. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this hair into like the wig-ish. And then I'm going to take their little hair net that it came with. And I'm going to wrap it <gasps> in that. So you can keep all the hair together. Okay, and then I just like let it fall. And then... I guess there's extra. <laughs> I'm not gonna, per I guess I could keep it. Like, why not? It'll help. No, I don't need this. I think it was just for shipment. I'm just gonna put it in the bag now. I'm gonna put it from like the ends. I guess it doesn't really matter too much, but I'm gonna do it that way. I think it makes sense to my brain. And then voila, all done. 
how amazing is that? And you can take it anywhere you go, traveling, whatever, your storage would be perfect. You're gonna put it on a hanger so it can hang like this. All right, there we go, let's go to the next wig. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna adjust the wig cap a little bit. Oh my gosh, too far. Okay, and again, this would be like the same steps putting on this wig is like braid the hair or however you're able to slick back the hair and tie it in to the mess we have. <laughs> and then put the wig cap on. And then this one is Yo-Yo in the length 18 inch. It's so cute. It also has bangs as well. I feel like wigs with bangs look way more natural than wigs with not bangs just because like then you have to really take like your makeup and blend in the hairline to yourself and then like put the it's like a big thing and I'm not like super talented at that. So I was like bangs it is because it's like easier to cover anyways. And I've actually kind of been wanting to do bangs, but obviously I know they don't look the best on me. So I'm not going to just like cut bangs on my hair and be like, okay, I'm stuck with it for like the next three years. But anyways, again, it comes with, oops, the card it comes with like the little card to tell you like the details on like how to style the wig, wig hacks, etc. Um, it comes with wig caps, comes with two as well, but we already have one on. So we're just going to leave it. Um, what is this? Oh, cool this just shows you like different links and different other like hairstyles and products they have Ooh, i'm gonna have to get some stuff off of here <laughs> anyways let's get to the wig um i'm gonna package this beautiful thing oh no you're a little like y'all little tangled let's, let's let me just we gotta brush her out look at those layers Ooh, i love this this is gonna be like a really pretty color for fall this is kind of like a pumpkin spice Ooh, okay. Look at those like waves. I wish my hair naturally did that. Uh, we have like a little bit of a knot. So if you have like a slight knot in your wig, you wanna lay it flat like on a surface and then gently brush it out by holding it. Cause if you tug too much then you can start pulling the hairs out and you don't want that to happen right away. I don't know if you can see, can you see that? Yeah, just like laid it down on my bed and then just like gently brushed it by holding the ends like taut and then brushing. All right, that's better. She's kind of giving me like, like Velma, is her name Velma? From Scooby-Doo vibes, the girl that wears the purple dress. I think she's Velma, <laughs> I hope I'm right. Anyways, okay, so same thing. Did I adjust the, did not adjust the band. Actually, it's in a good spot for me. I think it'll fit good. Okay, so we're gonna bring it forward first and then bring it to the back. Tuck in the clip in the back to your hair and then pull this forward. Side clips onto the side of your head. All right. Oh my god, it's so cute. Let me let me adjust. And the bangs again. I probably will need to be in a roller. But this is so cute. Oh my god, I love this color for fall. I feel like this one makes me look so different. Wigs, like, ugh, hair in general, like, if you just change your look up, it changes things. Like, bruh, I look like a different person. Like, if I was walking on the street, would y'all recognize me like this? I think not. Like, I don't even recognize myself in the mirror. This is crazy. Look at this. Oh. This hair is so like voluminous, like crazy and so soft. Like this is the length I want my hair and like how beautiful it is. This is like goals right here. But my hair does not grow that fast. Anyways, uh, <laughs> here it is. She's cute, oh my goodness. Bangs, obviously I still need to work on like trying to like learn how to style bangs. Um, but she would look really cute with like glasses or like a headband oh my god hold on a second hold on we are doing this give me one give me a second all right you guys so i grabbed some like these are just like uh blue light glasses um and then i got like this headband this wig is giving like i'm like i read books and like i'm really good and like i don't know what, what, what kind of vibe would that be um like a good girl like a 
like a <laughs> cottage core vibe that's what i'm getting wear like a cutesy little like i think they're called ditzy dresses it's kind of like a weird name but they're like they're like little dainty dresses with like flowers on them and stuff like this is this is the vibe i'm getting obviously you could totally dress this however you please this is just the vibe i'm getting from it so let's try the glasses oh these are a little dirty hold on a second hold on we gotta clean that <laughs> okay so i could be totally wrong if this looks like i'm just like gonna try it anyways ow this is hard to wear glasses with a wig <laughs> wait this is kind of cute this is a vibe okay like hey <laughs> i think it's really cute are you kidding okay let's try like the headband excuse the makeup on this like you know okay so <laughs> how would i okay here we go all right again i feel like hair always looks better or wearing like headbands looks better with the hair in the front of it just a little bit and then bring it back here we go here we go hold on hold on it's not done it looks like a napkin <laughs> Oh yeah, this is cute. This is so cute. Maybe a little bit more hair pulled forward would be better, but I just like have these strands for now. But like, oh, it's so cute. Okay, I think actually the headband like with the glasses would be a whole look. Okay, and then picture like a white dress or like a little mini skirt with like a nice like shirt, a blouse or something. Oh my God, who is she? <laughs> so cute okay i'm gonna show you guys like okay from the front actually you know what? i should probably show you guys without everything on what the wig looks like just so you can get like the full effect you know let me brush this out again okay okay full effect right here from the front let's bring the hair forward so you can see the length okay and then from the side Ooh, look at that volume. Okay, and then from the back. It's so cute. Okay, I love it. I can't decide which one I love most. All of them give so many different, like, different aesthetics that I just I can't decide all of them are great I don't have a favorite Ugh, I just I can't I'm so excited to style these I'm wearing these out I'm gonna be different people every day like you don't even know <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is everything that I got from Insert Name here. Again, thank you so much, INH, for sending me these products. I am so excited to wear them out and just be able to style them in so many different ways and just switch up my looks. I can't wait. Again, if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from INH, you can go to inhhair.com, and if you want, you can use my discount code Kaylee15 for 15% off your purchase site-wide. Y'all, I cannot decide which one was my favorite, ponytail and the two wigs. There was the Casey ponytail, there was the raven wig, and then there was the yo-yo in that order for the video. I cannot decide which one was my favorite. Y'all comment below and tell me which one was yours if you had one. I would love to create videos by like dressing up like how I would style this wig. So I think that's going to be coming soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. Like I think that would be so fun to try and recreate looks and like I just yes it's happening that's what's happening y'all stay tuned for those videos don't forget to follow me on my other platforms my instagram my tiktok and my twitter don't forget to check out the link in my description box as well as the link in my about page to follow all my other platforms and thank you so much for watching hopefully i see you in my next video bye guys why do i forget everything once i turn on the camera like what the mm. i literally said it perfect three times <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say after that. I literally just said <laughs> <laughs> two hours later, and I'll finally get this right. <laughs>